Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to the next steps of things. We're going to prepare the room and the sofa that's in the office to be transitioned into our bedroom. So the first things we have to do is take care of some of the linens that were in here. While we were straightening out and moving the bed from our room into the guest room, we had to take a bunch, thank you, we had to take a bunch of the quilts that I'm eventually gonna make my quilt ladder for, and we had to put them onto the couch in the office, but now we have to deal with them. We have to finally get them someplace safe, if that if that's a thing, someplace safe. Uh, <laughs> we have to get them so we store them properly, and then we can go on about moving the couch. So I'm just gonna join you today. I have some things that I need to go, go through to decide if we're keeping, selling, giving away, and that kind of thing and then we'll have the space to store some stuff. So let's join me. Okay, so what I have, and one of the things I just don't wanna part with, I'm sorry, it's just, say, say what you want about me in the comments, is I have these Matt Lise, this set of Matt Lise, um, M-A-T-L-E-S-S-E, -S -S -E, and one of them's got like an accent over it. Um, but it's basically like a textured, almost like a, almost like an embossed quilting. It's not actually quilting. I think you could see like the best from here. So it's almost like a relief and embossed quilting. Um, I have been in love with this type of material um, pretty much since I was a little girl. I think, I think a friend had a bedspread when I was younger and I have just grown to love it. And I have a set, um, it's, but it's queen size. I also have a comforter I mean, a quilt that is full size that I really like to use as a throw now. Um, and I have a bunch of pillow shams. So those are the only things I'm going to keep that I don't have a specific place to put. I mean, no, I mean, I have a place to put them. I don't have a specific place to use them in my home right now. Um, I just cannot find a king size Matt Lise in ivory um, bedspread right now. So I've been on the hunt. Uh, I don't know if it's just become out of fashion a little bit for a time. I mean, I got these the turn of the century, you know, the, 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 the millennium, like I got them that long ago. So who knows? I also have these um, pillow shams, but these pillow shams are all in standard size. So I'm kind of like, mm, we do have standard pillows. I always put these pillow shams on top of the <clears throat> top of the actual bed pillows with the sheets set pillowcases. Um, but under the shams that match the comforter, but I can always swap them out. So I do want to keep the purple and a set of purple and a set of green because this room has always been like purple and green. So I want to keep those. And then the other stuff that I have in here is basically the curtains from the living room. Um, if you've been around for a while, you know I have new living room curtains. But I actually asked Jim at one point, and maybe not this year because of all the other construction we're doing, but I like this weight for the summer and the heavy weight for the winter. So I I was, you know, can we swap them out and stuff? But he was like, we're doing so much other stuff around the house right now. Let's just maybe next year. And I was like, okay. So this is something that, again, I'm not using this year, but I know that I'm going to use next year and for years to come. So I have that as well. So basically all of this so far, um, Jim can go back. I don't know if- Go back. And yeah, I think long like this would work, except you have to move those sheets probably. I they will, can sit on top. Yeah, I will, I will. Do you want me to take the curtains and we'll do the curtain separate? So yeah, I can get the rest so of the curtains those, together. Those okay. are kind of slippery. And... Yeah, they are. They're very silky. It was kind of a fun story actually. I bought these. Um, no, I bought these from a website, like, I don't know if it was Bry Lane Home. They're blackout curtains, and they have this really pretty sort of pattern. And then I found these at Walmart. They're the same pattern. They're a little bit darker color. These ones we had on our, our sliding glass doors, and these ones we had on the windows. So I like them because they coordinated, but they weren't matchy-matchy. Um, I like that a lot, actually. And, you know, the, the, the odds of finding things like that... Um, mm. Can you do like two rows this way? Like, mm -hmm. like you have the blankets in the back mm -hmm. and you can't put the curtains in the front? Mm -mm. They'll overlap. 
and that in fact I that's well, where here. the sheets are now because... no the sheets have to go on top of everything give me okay. this give me this let me see what if we do this if you're making yeah I can do okay. that I didn't know how to describe that motion so no that's all right okay And the last thing that I have, since we are keeping the queen bed for tertiary guests, I have actually this set of sheets and pillowcases. Actually, where are the sheets? I mean, oh, they're in, they're in the, the bedroom, our bedroom. One set is on the bed, the other set is sitting down on top inside the, uh, inside its pillowcase. Oh, the little flowers. Yeah. Okay. Um... I'm sorry, I was thinking about the sheets that match this, the sheets. I don't know where those sheets are. Yeah, I just realized that I don't know I don't where they are. I don't have them anymore. That's so weird. Anyway, the this set, uh, the comforter, the shams, the pillowcases and stuff, I got when we got married for my shower. My my best friend Sharon gave it to me for my shower. Um, do you want to slide these down with the comforter down there? Yeah, I can the matching do comforter? That. Okay. And then these are just like, I'm going to sell these. These were just uh, 99 cent um Yeah, uh -huh. balances. Um, I think I have some other ones that are probably in the linen bag already, Jim. Okay. Uh, where is the linen bag? One of the bags that we, you already have it tied up. One of the bags of giveaway stuff was okay. is got linens in it. Now I also have a flannel set of sheets because the the this room can get kind of cold in the winter, according to some of the older ladies. Um, that I will um put in with the queen size linens for when we have extra guests and they might be cold. So, um, I think they're in the laundry now though. So, um, I'll ask Jim where they were, but they kind of all fit in here, which is kind of good. This is one of those, uh, flannel sheet set thingies from, from Walmart. Um, so they all fit back in here. So that's it. That's everything from that trunk. Um, these can go in with the queen size linens as well. So, so How's it going down there? Is it down there pretty full? No, down there. Yeah, it's pretty full. <coughs> I might be able to squeeze those in. What about this thing? I don't know where the sheets are. Yeah, I just was asking actually about... Those are the ones that were on the bed actually. Uh, they Flannel might sheets. be in... Yeah, they're in... You know what? I don't know where they are. Okay. They could be in the basket waiting for them to be folded from yesterday. Or they could be... And with the quilts and whatnot in the... And they could be in there. That's probably a really good place that they would be. Okay, you got that or... I hope so. Okay. All right. So this is going to be my quilt collection. You're not going to get a huge, great big look at it, but I'm going to show you little pieces here and there. But when I built my quilt ladder, you guys are definitely going to be able to see all of them. Um, I have to tell you, there's only one quilt in my quilt collection I never actually used as a blanket for a regular on a regular basis um, I bought it and I used it to cover a Ikea uh, like a what are they called uh, oh I wish I could remember the name of it but it was basically like a Formica headboard uh, which kind of felt like kind of hard so I used it to almost like make a cushiony headboard but um, this turquoise and green and purple one is the one that uh, normally goes in the summertime in this guest room bed. Um, the one that you saw previously with the burgundy borders was uh, Jim's and I's from the apartment. That was our summer blanket as well. We have um, basically ones that I've made. <laughs> um, the My very, very first quilt when I sewed for a lady I think I shared it with you guys when I was repairing it one time I was doing projects for a couple of women and I took all their scraps and I made like a scrap quilt it was my very first project uh, some hand sewing some machine sewing I didn't really know what I was doing very well but I managed and uh, yeah it's pretty it's pretty nice I pretty I like it pretty much um, then this one that I have with the yellow uh, backing with the roses was the one I used for the headboard it's actually quite beautiful on the inside. It has these beautiful ribbon roses 
on the four corners, which I love, love, love. And it has matching throw pillows and stuff, which I don't know if I'll end up keeping. Uh, we may put them in the yard sale since they're all going on the quilt board. This is the one that I made. And if you notice, they all have sort of similar colors. Obviously, the one that I got for the guest room is matches the walls. Um, but the rest of them pretty much are like my style. Anywhere from uh, pinks, dark reds, pastels, and just combinations. I really do like the combination of dark and light fabrics. Uh, I think the contrast is really, really nice. Um, so what we're doing right now is we're just going through them, refolding them in such a way. Um, a lot of these were stored under the bed, but when we took the under the bed storage out and redid some under the bed storage, <laughs> we um, pulled them out because we knew that pretty soon we were going to do this quilt ladder project. Um, so what we're doing is we're folding them so they fit on top of the trunk, uh, the trunk that has the linens in it. I feel like you're going to see that trunk in a few minutes, but that trunk was uh, my nephew's when he was little. His grandfather did a lot of woodworking and carving and stuff and refinished for him when he was um, first born. Uh, but of course the kids grew out of it. There was three. My sister had three boys and they needed a much bigger trunk. But it's very sturdy. Like I said, we could sit on it or put luggage on it or whatever. But right now it's just going to house the, these quilts and all of the extra linens. This is the set of flannel sheets that we had that we talked about previously. Um, I like that keep the bag that they come in because it's easy to store them. You know, we do have the trick of storing the sheet sets in the pillowcases, but this actually keeps it much more contained, which I really enjoy. Um, and I don't like flannel sheets. I would like to know in the comments down below, are you a flannel sheet girl? Because I am totally not. Just folding them sometimes makes me warm. I'm just saying. <laughs> Now, um, I really do love this set. It's a light gray with a sort of toile print of birds and flowers on it. You guys know I love my toile. But because most of the rugs in this house or flooring is gray, um, even when the room isn't, the walls aren't, the, the gray still matches. Gray seems to be a very neutral color these days. Of course, the shade of gray can depend on uh, the room and stuff, but um, this one's pretty neutral. And again, I got it at Walmart. It was relatively inexpensive. Uh, one Black Friday, because we knew we needed them and just kept waiting for the big sale to come. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn to the jewelry box. Um, we're not sorting our jewelry today because, again, we're it's a little bit of a time crunch. Um, and we're back and forth about whether or not we want to paint this chest. I bought the paint for it. Uh, most of the furniture in this room is ivory colored, but um, the desk isn't, and we thought we would keep this um, natural, but I don't know. We do have to replace the handles, so we might just go ahead and um, just do everything anyway. Um, we'll figure it out. The jewelry were just getting slapped in there when we were tra cleaning up in here. Um, the necklaces I had all hanging on a hanger and they got really pretty twisted so I thought that that would work and that didn't work so if you're interested that that doesn't work actually it might have worked short term but we kept them on there a little too long moving around I think so I just basically put everything wherever now I did purge the jewelry already I just didn't sort it into its right compartments and stuff Plus, since we have the air purifier temporarily on top of it, we can't really access that top portion that has the, the ring space and the little cubbies for earrings too. So what I said suggested to Jim was to go through his jewelry box, figures out what he wants to purge, which wasn't much, but he did know he wanted to put his pocket watches on display, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, over the years when we were first together, I used to get him a pocket watch with wolf on it. About every Christmas, uh, usually every Christmas. Um, so he's got a few from when we first got married. Um, but he uh, wants to maybe create a little display at the top. I think we talked about this in a previous video. Um, he wants to create a display in the top of his uh, dresser, his new dresser. So he's just going to keep them off to the side. But everything else he's just going to throw into a big drawer. I said just try to keep it from tangling throw everything in there that you're going to keep and then we will go ahead and go through um and do all of this when we're all settled this to me is like the detail work uh, a lot of times i do like to take care of the detail work right away sometimes it's just like leave the detail work till the end 
you have a clearer mind. And now these are the baskets that I created when I did the jewelry box project. I, you guys saw me purge my stuff. And this is the stuff that I decided to keep. But once again, I'm just going to put it all into a deep drawer or two deep drawers just to wrangle it uh, for now. Now I will tell you that I had this red box that I shared with you. It's all like my quote unquote fancy costume jewelry. It doesn't fit in any of these drawers. So I'm going to have to come up with something different to store it. But that's okay. That's what evolution's all about. Um, so we're going to do that. And as you can see, I'm just taking basically everything that I had out. I did put, separate my earrings into those little Dollar Tree craft boxes, the little tiny red ones that they sell in the craft section. Um, so that's easy enough. Those are all separated. They just have to get moved to their new home once we get everything settled. Um, and then that's it. I mean, I feel like things can be done immediately. I tell Jimmy about just keep your hands on something one time. It's better. Take care of it right away. But sometimes you just have to go with the flow of time and, I don't know, space. And just be able to say, let's just do this quick and dirty right now type of thing. You know what I'm saying? I hope you guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> But this is going to be it for today. We're just going to finish putting all the jewelry in um, in the jewelry box and close it up. But I wanted to thank you all for coming along each step of the way. We so appreciate you. It, you really do give us the encouragement we need to just keep moving on. Um, yeah, this is the big red box. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. We'll see. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Uh, don't forget to share and like and all the things. And again, let me know. Flannel sheets, yay or nay? Just would like to know. That's my survey of the day. And as always, you guys take care. God bless. And we'll see you next time. Bye.